silicone hybrid mermaid tail. budget of around $550-$600. The main expense is the neoprene. A sheet of neoprene plus shipping costs around $200. The silicone is about $10 a bottle and you need a lot of bottles. It's around $150 and add more to the more fins you're going to need. The monofin I used is a Maina monofin and the monofin plus shipping is around $150. Also, the paint I use comes to around $60. Each can of paint comes to about $10, so it depends on the number of colors you want to use. The amount of time it takes is a long time. I would say 100, 150 hours. The main technique I used was a piping technique, like icing cake. I made several tests first. For the main technique on this tail, I was inspired by textiles and fish butts that use silicone over neoprene. The silicone I used is aquarium silicone. The reason why I use this one is because it's the least toxic of the silicones you can get at a regular hardware store. There is a higher grade silicone which is dragon skin which is what the professionals use. One of the very, very important things when working with any type of silicone or any type of glue while making your mermaid tails is to have a well-ventilated area. Use a mask and use rubber gloves. The silicone is non-toxic while cured. It does emanate a lot of toxic vapors while it is drying. Please, please protect yourself. Be safe. So for this investment in a tail, I tried multiple techniques and I had to find just the right one before I put all of my silicone on my tail. One of the first techniques I tried is going again and trying with a little grid. I put some silicone on my neoprene and I pressed my grid on it and I pulled it off. So this created a type of texture. Unfortunately, it wasn't to my expectation, so I had to give this one up. The other technique I used was a piping technique, just as if I was icing cake. And this is a technique I used uh, when I was inspired by textiles. They paint over, but I chose to paint under and take advantage of the transparency of the silicone. Underneath, I used my color shot paint. And of course, I had to test to make sure that the silicone stuck to the color shot paint. So this is an example of that. Again, testing, testing, testing is so important in order not to waste your material. Once that was done, I made the body of my tail, fitted it over my, uh, my monofin, painted, added the silicone, let it dry, and it was ready. The simple as that. I have tested it at the pool, I have tested it in a lake, and it swims beautifully. It's not too heavy, it's not too buoyant. The one thing I would note though is that it loses a lot of stretch, uh, surprisingly so. You have to fit it very well before you add your silicone to make sure it fits you and it won't ride too long. 